Number 12, the mention of Allah Ta'ala brings on the love of Allah for the servant, the one who mentions Allah. Allah Ta'ala loves those who mention Him. From the generality of Inna Allah Yuhibbul Muhsinin, Allah Ta'ala loves those who they do good. Inna Allah Yuhibbul Al Muttaqeen, verily Allah loves people of piety. The people of piety quite clearly will make a lot of dhikr of Allah Ta'ala. Specifically, the scholars mention for this point. The statement of Allah Ta'ala, Ya ayyuha ladheena amanu man yartadda minkum an deenihi fasawfa ya'ti Allahu bi qawmin yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu. That whoever of you turns as an apostate away from his religion, then Allah shall bring about a people whom he loves and they also love him. So then those whom Allah Ta'ala loves, for sure they are those who mention him. And he loves them and they also love him. What's most important out of that? Reciprocal love is that Allah Ta'ala loves them. And we ask Allah Ta'ala to make us from those whom He loves. And whoever loves a thing, fitratan, from the generality of people and the way they behave, a behavioral trend. I'll give you an example. Toronto Raptors. Everything is Toronto Raptors. Everything is this star and that star. Where are the Toronto Raptors playing now and where they're going to play tomorrow? And where? Huh? Does he love the Toronto Raptors or not? Absolutely. The one who loves a thing... He makes a lot of mention of it. You can't doubt his love for the Toronto Raptors because he's saying Toronto Raptors this, Toronto Raptors that. So in reality, the one who loves a thing, he mentions it much. If you love Allah Ta'ala, you mention him much on your tongue. Don't claim that you love Allah, but rather let your tongue show that you love Allah. You mention him much in secret and in open, in private, and in gatherings and so on. That was number 12, what? That it is a sign of the love of Allah Ta'ala upon a servant that he mentions Allah.